Hello and welcome to ProstateVideos.com. I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. One of the challenges in treating men that have been diagnosed with prostate cancer is to decide which treatment is most appropriate. And to do that, we need some idea of how the different treatments compare. Doctors have recognized that we can now divide tumors into three major groups. We call them low risk, intermediate risk, and high risk. And the danger posed by a low risk cancer is very different than the danger posed by an intermediate or a high risk cancer. So what does this mean when someone says you have a low intermediate or high risk cancer? We use three things to help characterize these tumors. The PSA, the clinical stage, which is the way it the tumor feels on the digital rectal exam, and also the PSA. Low risk cancers are thought to be those that have a PSA value less than 10, a clinical stage of T1 or T2A, that means there's only a small amount of cancer felt on one side of the prostate, or there's nothing felt on the prostate. And the last thing is the Gleason score which should be below seven. A low risk cancer has all three of these characteristics. An intermediate risk cancer is a cancer that is associated with a man that has a PSA between 10 and 20, a Gleason score of seven, or a digital rectal exam of a T2B tumor. Any one of those three would put someone into the intermediate category. And the high risk group includes anyone with a Gleason score of 8, 9, or 10, a PSA greater than 20, and a clinical stage of T2B, meaning there's cancer felt on both sides of the prostate. And these three characteristics will allow some way of comparing the different treatment options that we have available. In other words, some treatments might be more suitable for a low-risk cancer, but less suitable for an intermediate or a high-risk cancer. And this information should be very helpful as you work through the various options for managing your disease. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.